Hello guys and welcome back to Ready, Set, Viral. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some amazing hacks and tips to use in the summer. But before we start, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn notifications on. That way you never miss out on any of our videos. Anyways, let's get right into it. Everyone loves summer, right? There's a lot of ways to spend summer, but today we're going to be showing you how you can make things simpler. Let's talk about the best hacks and tips to use during summer. Let's go! Number 1. What to do if your flashlight dies If your flashlight runs out of batteries, you may still have a shot at using it. If you have smaller batteries that are charged, wrap the sides in tape, paper, or cardboard to get the right battery diameter, and then use aluminum foil or stacked coins to increase the battery length with a conductive metal. With this trick, you can substitute AAA batteries for AA and C cells for D cells. This isn't just for flashlights either. Any battery operated device can work on modified batteries, providing the replacements are, of course, the same voltage. Number 2. How to make your own compass Improvise a compass and you'll make a huge difference in navigating your way out of a wilderness emergency. A metal item like a needle can act as a compass when it's magnetized and suspended to allow free movement that's not affected by wind or any other forces. Magnetize a needle by rubbing just the eye of the needle 100 times against hair, fur, or silk. Lay the needle on a leaf that can float in water, and if no wind is allowed to hit the leaf, the needle should pull the floating leaf to orient itself on a north-south alignment. Watch out for gun barrels and other nearby metal items, which can pull the compass needle off course and distort your bearing. Number 3. Hack your towel There's a few things better than laying comfortably on a beach and reading a good book. Hack your beach towel to turn it into a towel pillow combo that'll make your summer beach trips a dream come true. All you need is a mini pillow and extra long towel, sew the pillow into the end of your towel and wrap it up as you would a yoga mat when you need to leave. Number 4 Outdoor Drink Holder Keep your drinks out of the sand with this easy and DIY outdoor drink holder. Making this craft is pretty simple, you just start with an empty can. Glue some fabric around the outside and the sharp edge and seal it so it's all waterproof. Drill a hole into the bottle. Attach a stand using a washer. Number 5. What to do if you run out of paper Running out of toilet paper in the woods is no joke. Finding the right substitute can be tricky as you don't want to get poison ivy leaves or something slick that won't wipe. Some fuzzy plants that look right for the job, like mullein, can cause a rash, so for the best results, use a stack of dead dry leaves with one green leaf in the middle for structural integrity. Also try a wet, well-packed snowball. Although it's very brisk, it wipes well and even washes your skin as it melts a little. Number 6. How to remove wet sand Pack talc-free baby powder to remove wet sand from your hands, your legs, anywhere before you leave the beach. All you have to do is shake on some baby power and rub the sand right off. I don't know why it works, but it does, and it couldn't be easier. Number 7. Signal for help. Anything reflective can come into play as a visual distress signal. Use CDs, car mirrors, polished metal, and whatever else you can scrounge to actually reflect sunlight towards distant targets. Sweep the light up and down and side to side to ensure your target sees a flash of light. The further away they are, the harder they are to hit, so keep it up as long as you can. And if you can still see the target, which could be a distant boat, plane, vehicle, or people walking, keep on signaling. In conclusion, these are some of the best hacks and tips that could really save you, whether you're in a forest or at the beach. I hope these will help you someday. But that's all we have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button if you did, and don't forget to like and comment down below as well. Until we see you guys next time, watch the two videos that are on your screen and we'll see you guys next time.